summer and I might do a quick video on communion and DNA and blood and I, I got a revelation I really love communion I take communion almost every day I try to take it every day it is, it is so powerful it is so exciting to take communion and um, I usually take my vitamins brush my teeth and do communion and then send out the angels but so there's no ritual or no particular way that I do it as far as the right way to take communion sometimes I'll use bread crackers water usually water because I don't have anything else um, a slice of apple whatever I just use something liquid and something um, solid to take my communion and communion is really really exciting and really important and one of the reasons is because the revelation God gave me today was first of all when you are born there when you're when you are actually conceived you get half of your mother's DNA and half of your father's DNA and in that DNA is a record of everything that ever happened in your mother's life her history not just uh, what her physical appearances is like but what sicknesses and diseases she had and in her DNA is her half her mother's and half her father's and everything that they experienced in their life and everything is in the DNA you the DNA is a record of their life so when you're conceived you get half your mother's DNA and half your father's DNA and that's what physically creates you well, when Jesus was conceived in Mary's womb, he did not get any of Mary's DNA. He, he got all of God's DNA. So all of God's DNA is inside of Jesus, which is really exciting. And then when Jesus died, Jesus is called the Word. And when Jesus died, the Word died. And... Um, we became born again when we spoke words when we received the seed of the Word of God inside of us we spiritually spiritually we became born again because of that DNA which was spiritual but the DNA is also physical so when you take communion you okay when you're born again you are born again by the DNA the seed the record of God the spiritual DNA of God you are born again through the seed and the seed produces a harvest of likeness same thing so when you take communion you are taking something that represents the body the physical body and the physical blood of Jesus and in that physical physical body and physical blood of Jesus is the DNA of God and the DNA of Jesus which is awesome so what communion does is it is physically taking the spiritual representative and the physical representative of the body and the blood of Jesus it's crossing over from the spirit realm into the physical realm because when you take communion you're actually consuming the DNA as a spiritual representative of the physical DNA of Jesus into your body into your blood and it it's God's DNA that's why we have God's nature God's uh, given us power over all everything on the earth he's given it he's already healed us by the stripes of Jesus we're healed he already prospered us he did all of that and that record of everything the blood of Jesus did in his life and on the cross is in the blood in the DNA and when you take communion, you're taking that representative into your body. Therefore, it's like medicine. It's like vitamins and minerals and nutrition. It heals your body. It pushes, the blood pushes out all the waste. The, it's, the DNA is if uh, you need medicine for something, take communion because that communion is the medicine from heaven. That communion is the DNA record of everything that Jesus did in his lifetime. So in other words, you receive half your DNA from your father in the natural and half from your mother. 
But when you're born again, you received all your DNA from your father, daddy, God, from your brother, Jesus. And you can engage the kingdom realm, seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling, uh, engage the kingdom realm through the DNA that is in you, the body and the blood of Jesus, which has the record of, the, of God, the DNA of God. And so the revelation to me was that when I become born again, I get God's DNA spiritually because he's, because he planted the seed, the word, which produces fruit and harvest in my life. But when I take communion, I am actually taking a representative of the physical body and the blood of Jesus, which is also spiritual, inside my physical body. And there's also a scripture that says the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, his physical body, guts and blood, ripped up and torn up body from the dead lives inside of me and the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of me and makes alive my physical body, my mortal body, my physical body. The spirit makes alive my physical body. So the spirit realm is changing the physical realm. And when you take communion, you're taking the DNA, the very essence, the DNA of God inside of you and engaging that to transform you from the inside out, from the physical and to change your physical realm. That's why the Bible says when you take communion and you don't know what it's all about, you stay sick. But when you take communion and you know what communion is all about, you get healed. Now, there, he's not saying that you get punished because you're, you're sinned and, and you deserve punishment, so that's why you're sick. He's saying when you take communion and you don't understand what the body and the blood of Jesus does when you take them and consume them in your body and your blood, that's when you stay sick, when you die, because you don't use the Word of God, communion, as medicine and health to your flesh. So that's the revelation that I wanted to share with you. To me, it's awesome. I just get so excited. I yell and scream and dance when I take communion because it is so powerful. It is such a revelation and so exciting. Uh, knowing that the DNA of God is what created me as a born-again person in my physical body. And it has the power to transform any sickness, disease in my body, weaknesses and aging that is not like heaven on earth. So I want to share that with you. If this is a blessing to you, share it with your social media site. And my website is robinbremer.net. And uh, if you go on Amazon, you get all my books unlimited. If you're on Kindle Unlimited, you get all my books for free. Um, so check it out. Check out my angel books when you can see angels posts in the sky and if you have kids these books are made for adults but they are made simply enough that kids can understand them if you want your kids to walk in God's power and his presence uh, check out my angels book and in the next couple weeks I'll be releasing on how to go to the courts of heaven I have more understanding on it now how it relates to the new covenant um, and why we have to apply uh, cleansing our bloodline and how to do that and how to go to the courts of heaven and get judgment on the devil. So, my name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. Check out my books, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.